I'd spent almost two years in the University of Iowa Hospital because I couldn't keep myself alive. It was just, I'd hit that low. Or I wanted, I mean, I wanted to live, but I couldn't keep myself alive. I had doctor after doctor tell me, you know, you had the worst case of OCD I've ever seen. <laughs> Sometimes it'd take me a week to recover from that statement. You're hanging in there as best you can, they tell you that, you think, oh my God, this is just gonna work out. I mean, I became, I was institutionalized, basically. It's, it's tough when you're coming out in society and you've been institutionalized. And you, you know, you get to a point where, what's the point a lot of times? All this while I'm receiving a SSDI check, my rent's 500 and I had like $230 left over for phone and food and whatever else might come along. So I wasn't eating real well. A friend of mine suggested the supportive housing, so I went down and applied. And I gotta, I gotta admit, when I first moved to the wild, I was a little tentative. My mind has opened up quite a bit since I've lived there. I've actually made some pretty good, had some pretty good relationships down there with some of the other residents. Some very nice people, some very intelligent people, very capable people. You know, there's rules that you don't have all the, the drinking and the drugs and the violence. You know, it's gonna be pretty calm. I think for the first time in my life, I had had my own space, a place I could call my own. I have a dresser, I have a bed, microwave, stovetop, oven. You have as much privacy as you want. When you're wanting to get stable with your life and, and move forward, that's really what I was looking for. Because I've lived in a lot of places. Well, I'm talking halfway houses and group homes and a lot, some of them weren't as pretty as the Y. And sometimes it's just nice to go hang out downstairs in the community room or, or watch TV or... It's nice to see people. That lonely feeling isn't there anymore. And you know, a lot of times tears come out when I'm just driving along and a flashlight will go off about a certain time. And I think that's just all the healing process. But no, my life is, it couldn't be better right now. I'm working at the Wellmark Y downtown in the Ankeny Y. I'm very excited about the future. I think it's just gonna keep getting better and better. You know, I, I, I see possibilities as endless.